of the upcoming movies in I'm, India mm -hmm. are you most looking forward to? Um, right off the top of my head, there's two immediately. Mm -hmm. Donkey. Yes, of course. And I don't remember the title. I know it starts with an M, but Vikram's film. Are you talking about the tribal one? Yeah. It starts with a T. Oh, does it? It starts with a T? It starts with a T. Okay, yeah. That, th those are the two I have. I mean, I have expectation for a, a lot of the film, but at the top of my list right now, the, the expectations I have that are really, really high, as high as they could be. When are we going to get Merry Christmas are those two. trailer? I don't know. I mean, well, I, I know, we've got time. It's it's early November, but I, maybe I'm just in my head. It's it's bigger than other people. The, uh, like, maybe. maybe the film what about is. you? Are those your two, or do no, you? No, my have... two are probably. I think the um, uh, just because of how excited Donkey obviously is, is, yeah. is up there, but like um, Captain Miller, of course, Danush and that director. Of I'm course. so excited for that. Yeah, and the violence that will ensue. And then I'm all, the, I, the Vikram film as well. That it got me so hyped. That Vikram uh, trailer, Animal. Yeah, the, the animal was the other one on the I'm right on the tip of my tongue. Um, is right there. I, every single one in December, I'm I'm excited about. Me too. I think they could. I'm hoping, and I know they all won't be probably, but I'm hoping they'll all be good. Yeah, they all look good. They so all far. do. Everything we've seen so far, it uh, looks great. But let us know what you are most excited for. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I am Corbin. The I Bell. am stupid. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more Jehuzi content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit the like button. Though I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get a call back for the thing, which is fine. Uh, I am so freaking... So I, I, I got back from the big 24-hour trip with my dad, right? Mm -hmm. It was 2.15 in the morning. I had had four hours of sleep in the last two days mm -hmm. and had that big trip with him, but I couldn't wait. I, I had, I, it felt so good to shave. I don't know how you, I don't know how you live with that. It, I don't feel it. You've just grown accustomed to it. My, I can never not feel it on my face. My, my beard has never itched me. Even growing out? No. When it grows out? Oh, it drives me utterly insane. You're weird. I will never be a bearded bastard. I literally... Never notice it ever. Today we got a little uh, short animated documentary. Hey, uh, it's called don't Why see that every day. Did the world let India annex Goa? I didn't. Even wow, know, I didn't even know they did that. Okay, first of all, short animated documentary. Have we seen that? Well, I've seen. We've seen animated Stuff like this. Yeah, we've seen the animated. Okay, gotcha. So we've seen some things like that. But why did the world let India annex Goa? Do you know what states we annexed? Uh, Detroit? Hopefully. Yeah. Nah. They call Hawaiian annexation. But they do? Like stolen uh, is what Hawaii was 100% uh, stolen. Uh, Puerto Rico was annexed. Yes. Uh, Which should be a state. But, uh, yeah. I didn't know about this. So it was very interesting. We bought Louisiana. Technically, we bought a lot, but it's also yeah. uh, stolen. Hawaii oh, yeah. is a hundred percent. Yeah, we stolen. lied. If you ever want to know a depressing history, oh, just look up what uh, how the United States got uh, uh, Hawaii. It's it, it's not as, well, and a lot of things shiny and beautiful as uh, they make it out. No, and a lot of the things that we did transactionally with Native Americans, we just straight up lied to their damn faces and murdered and raped them and killed them. But and that was actually an order from the president. Uh, just don't look up the history yeah. unless you just want to be depressed. And sad, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Or two, the global community, for the most part, came to the conclusion that invading your neighbors to take land wasn't okay anymore. <laughs> Yet, in 1961, India invaded the Portuguese overseas territory of Goa to incorporate it into the country. Uh, okay. And right what the Indian government saw as a historic wrong. But given that India simply marched its army into the territory of a Western European nation, this raises a question. How did the world react to this and why didn't anybody try to stop India? Oh, okay. So, as you'll know, India gained its independence from Britain in 1947 alongside Pakistan and despite Britain being gone, there were other European countries which still held territory in the area. Hmm. France, for its part, sent right. its lands to India in the 1950s. Right, they just left. 
and India had hoped that Portugal would do the same, and so it asked if the country was open to handing Goa back and when it would do so. The Portuguese response was that they were happy to do that roughly five minutes after the heat death of the universe. And the reason <laughs> they refused was that unlike Britain or France, the Portuguese government held no distinction between overseas territories and Portugal itself. Shockingly, the Indian government wasn't happy with this, <laughs> and so built up its military on the border and started to hint that it would invade. Yeah. The Portuguese knew that they couldn't resist, and so they turned to a third party to negotiate, the British. In a twist that would shock exactly zero people, the Indian <laughs> government wasn't willing to be lectured by their former colonial <laughs> and, and so relations got worse and India sanctioned Portugal. The Indian government continued with the diplomatic route until 1960 when it decided to just conquer the lands instead. In December 1961, the Indian army entered Goa and in two days it had been overrun and the Portuguese garrison there had surrendered. So how exactly did the world react? Well, when the invasion occurred, the Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev was visiting the country and along with the rest of the communist world, he congratulated the Indians on making their country whole again. With one notable exception, China. Because the response there was mostly non-existent because, well, they were busy planning for a thing. But as for the rest of the world, well, the Portuguese, of course, were none too pleased, but they had one trick up their sleeve. NATO. The hope was that since Portugal saw Goa as a part of the country proper, NATO would do the same. Ah. Uh, it did not. Yeah. Instead, most NATO nations condemned the invasion, demanded that India withdraw, and some placed India under sanction. Britain was less harsh in its condemnation and largely blamed Portugal for not accepting the inevitable. But beyond this, there was nothing the world really could do. No nation in NATO cared to do more than the absolute bare minimum to defend the dying Portuguese Empire, and India knew this. Furthermore, it was difficult for Portugal or its allies to retaliate because the overwhelming majority of Goa's population wanted to join India. After which, there was nothing more to be done, and so everybody accepted right. it almost immediately thereafter. Of course, with the exception being Portugal. And it wasn't until its dictatorship was overthrown by the military in the 1970s that the new government formally acknowledged the loss of Goa. After which, the two nations normalized relations and everybody moved on, and the annexation was largely forgotten. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Interesting. Special great, great. great. James Short. Zanette, Kelly Moneymaker, Corsho Wolf, Sky Chappelle, Katoitska, Jerry Le That was uh, informative. Uh, very informative. Very informative and well put together. And I, w I had no idea about this. Yeah, that's that's super interesting because obviously... <laughs> You obviously nowadays, obviously we're a lot different than the world is a lot different, and mindsets are a lot different than they were in the nineteen fifties and sixties. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, of like colonization and yeah. who whose land belongs to who. Right. Um, well, but like now, like if it was happening, like, sometimes that's that's India's <laughs> land. What? Yeah. If they all want to be part of India, and you colonized this area, which was originally theirs, why wouldn't you just give the land back? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, so like I don't I guess it's not surprising that the world was like yeah, I'm, yeah what I find intriguing and I'd love to know more about is the fact that he said that Portugal considered Goa to be anything that was Portuguese for them was no different than Portugal so from the Portuguese standpoint Goa was Portugal I find it interesting that NATO didn't treat it that way yeah because any other NATO nation gets invaded, mm -hmm. all of NATO supports that nation. Yep. But they clearly said, yo, guys, bro, <laughs> this was India first, and second of all, that's not Portugal. Also, so why did you send the British to... <laughs> yeah. Why did they go <laughs> to the British? If there's one nation that you shouldn't send to ne negotiate <laughs> for that's India... Not the, that's not the right place to go. That is the last country you send to India ever to negotiate anything. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally and every other to country their credit, be first. To their credit, England looked at them and said, yo, did you not see what just happened to us 20 years ago? Why are you asking us? Get out. Leave. Trust us on this one. Bolt. It's not worth it. Uh, it's funny. And good on India for saying, because India is always really um, reticent. You know, they're not the aggressors. But this was not, I think this would was this not, not viewed. Be, would this not be considered an aggression, though? I would view this as a defense. A defense? Okay, yeah. because it's your land. 100%. Even though technically, technically, if you're going, it is technically Portugal's land at that moment because they rule it. Yeah. Even if it is an um, invalid occupation. Yes. Um, 
you think they would still be the defenders in that scenario? I think that was the justification for that. We hear all the time. And yeah. Never the aggressor. And, and no, I, I think that's the ju- I my guess would be that's the justification for that of we're not being the aggressors here. You are because you're in, in our, our place. That was ours first. It's like if somebody comes into your house and you're right. defending it. And and did you not see what just happened with the British? And did you not see what the French did? The French realized, yeah, we're out. See you guys. This is yours. So what are you guys doing? Holding on to this. This is our place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, super interesting. Well, uh, very as, as interesting. Always, we'll put together a video. Uh, learn something new every day. Yeah, that was great. We do learn something new every day because obviously we do this for the channel, so we learn something new about India most every day. Uh, yeah. Still, after five always years, will five years now. Yeah, always will. I'm all. I'm. And I'll never forget the lady I talked to years ago who, when she found out about the channel, and I believe she was Australian. And she loves India, and she said that she had gone back something like five or six times, and each time spent a month there. And she said, "You'll you'll find that you you could spend an entire lifetime in India, and you won't even come close to scratching the surface on everything you could learn about India." Well, we hear it all the time from stupid babies that um, they learn stuff from stuff because obviously a lot of Indians will know what's in their region. Yeah, and they don't often explore whether it's film no. or whether it's history of other regions. Yes. Um, and Drani has said that about what you and I know about Indian film. Mm-hmm. She'll tell other people all the time, she's like, Rick and Corbin know way more about Indian film than I do. Um, maybe not about one specific industry, but obviously we try to do... No, but on the whole. At everything. Um, and I we I love that we have a lot of stupid babies that do do that and do do a, a lot of, but obviously the predominance is that People from their states, and it makes sense because that's your language. That's your place, yeah. Um, th- will mostly know their region. Of so course, Kerala, Keralites will know Malayalam cinema. Well, and if I'm if I'm well. not mistaken, you typically don't get a, a Bengali film released in Tamil Nadu. Funny and- enough, I've seen it a lot with other uh, Indian reactors that um, or reviewers um, that in India, the, this person might I think is a Hindi speaker. If he tries to go see a, like a Tamil film or a Malayalam film, wherever he li- I don't know where he lives. Wherever it may be. I think it's somewhere in North India. Okay. Uh, he always has a problem getting subtitles. Interesting. We, if it's a foreign film, it's always subbed in English here. Yeah. Always. We, you won't see a foreign film here in a theater that doesn't have English subtitles. It's, it's true. It's never happened. Obviously, it, it makes sense. Obviously, we are English speaking nation for yeah. the most part. Yeah. Outside of Spanish being probably the, the closest. But all second. the Spanish speakers predominantly also were bi- bilingual. Yeah. Speak, speak English. English. Uh, so it's interesting that in India. Yeah. But we, we also, whenever we went to, uh, I think it was in Mumbai, we wanted to go see DDLJ in the theater that it's been playing in for, what, 30 years now? Yeah. Uh, and. Um, we, they so are some stupid babies called and asked if they could put subtitles uh, for one showing. And they said no. <laughs> and I, th- I was like, that's a little really? weird, though, yeah. because everybody knows the film already. They're coming to re-see it. I just want to see it for the first time. Can you put a DVD in for this one time? <laughs> what might occur at some point, and they're probably working on it, but it would not surprise me. You, you know about the glasses that translate language so that... Yeah for either deaf people or for people in another language, it would not surprise me if you would be able to just go see any film in any language and you could just have those glasses on and you'd be seeing subtitles on your glasses. Yeah, one day. Yeah, that'd be very Uh, cool. Anyways, great video. Uh, Let us know if there's other informational videos we can react to uh, and learn some more stuff. If you're from Goa, please let us know down below. Another place uh, we'd like to go next time. Yeah, absolutely. We'll just just (laughs) sit on the beach for a few days. Except I'm going to be real careful about the zombies. I don't... Yeah, yeah. (laughs)